Thanks, love. Give Dad a kiss, Alf. Dad, all right? Yeah, we're good. How's it going? Uh, another hour or two, I should be finished with this one. Hang on, let's tie this. Tie this. Yeah, I got E. Here, grab all of that, make yourself useful. That's about right. I haven't this for a long time. I always make it. Mother's recipe. Is there anything I know? I don't know. I thought... Tuesday. The weather looks better. We can get some paint on. Paint on the boat. You want to do blue for the gunners again, do you? Yeah. Yeah, blue for the gunners. Yeah. Sounds good, Dad. Are you coming up? In a minute. Oh, God, John, it's two in the bloody morning. Just got off the phone to Woody. He's offered me some work. Yeah? Were well, you going to take it? I don't know yet. Oh, John, come on. I can't keep going on like this. I think you're going to have to have a word with your father. Yeah. I'm going to go up 
jump to bed. You coming? You just finish this, and I'll be up all right. All right, well, I'll say good night then. All right, love. How's it going? Yeah, it's coming on. God, do you remember how long this took me to learn? It probably took me just as long, but a much less forgiving father, as you know. <laughs> like in me. I haven't thought about him for ages. It was to number me and no whole life done for want of wit to memory now I can't recall. So fill to me the parting glass. Good night and joy be to you all. If I had money enough to spend and leisure time to sit a while. There is a fair maid in this town who surely has me heart beguiled. Her rosy cheeks, her ruby lips, I own she has me heart in thrall. So fill to me the parting glass. Good night and joy be to you all. So you're going down to see the boys? No, no, I'm not. You used to do that all the time. I know, but not anymore. I miss hearing you play, Dad. Yeah. I'm going to head back now. You OK? Yeah. Yeah, I'm OK. I was going over to see Mum in the morning, drop off some flowers. Do you want to come? I'll see you later.
We all miss her, you know? Come on, Joe, it's not that easy. Alfie doesn't understand that. She knows I love her and I'll take care of her. She's ten, John. Sometimes I think you forget that. Sweetie. Oh, Daddy's not going to get back to him, okay? Why would you be home? Still at Granddad's. Got a few things to do. You just jump in the bed, all right? I'll see you in the morning. He phoned me up the other night. He's offered me some work. Whoa. What about the fishing? Dad, you know I haven't seen Alfie much the last few months. Or Jill. She's nagging me. I know I need a regular income. I need to spend some more time at home, Dad. Just can't carry on. Somebody's got to carry on. Where are you going, Dad? Do you remember when Alfie was younger? She just wouldn't sleep because she was afraid of the dark. It was pointless trying to make her sleep. So Jill just lay awake with her all night. After that, she wasn't afraid anymore. I guess for her, seeing the sun come up, fear just left. Don't think that I don't miss Mum as well. The last thing she would have wanted is for you to be like this. Leave me alone, John.
probably done a bit more on the sleeve, eh? That'll do. And I shall. See you in a minute, love. What do you think, Abby? Two stories tonight. And all the chocolate but don't do. My spender. Thank you. 